Hey guys, welcome to the Charcoal King. Hey, today, the question I've been asking myself for six months, can you reverse sear a ribeye on the flat top grill? Stay tuned. All right, so the idea has come to my attention. And I've been playing around with it, playing around with it, playing around with it. So this is my homemade concoction, okay? Don't laugh, but this is some serious business. I took a cookie sheet, a cookie cooling rack, and I cut it in half, okay? Then I took this form, this uh, aluminum pan, turned it upside down, and put holes in it. So then underneath there, I could put smoke, I could put my wireless thermometer, I could keep one eye on low, bring it up to temperature like a reverse sear, okay? So that, that's been my scientist coming through me, okay? But today, we're not using this. I returned a melting dome about three months ago. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was worth it. And lo and behold, guess what the charcoal king found? Ah! Booyah! And you ready? It's got a fit like my grill. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. All right. So our love for steaks probably goes above and beyond the average person. Me and my wife both love steaks. But there's something about a charcoal grilled steak that we cannot get away from. It's the flame kiss. It's the hickory smoke. It's the burnt ends. It's you name it. It's what the charcoal brings to the table and that's why i love charcoal grills hands down right but the flat top has kind of taken my passion and kind of like squeezed it over here so then when i had a chance to reverse sear a steak on the flat top grill it's almost like combining two of the greatest ideas i'm going to smoke it in here and then we're going to turn the flat top on high and sear it off to our desired doneness which always you guys know me is like a medium rare all right the only thing missing i will tell you this the only thing missing is that flame kissed but if you can take that away and you're trying to figure out what grill to buy this is a game changer all right so now that we've explained all of my excitement and all the stuff that can happen there we're going to go back to the steaks i've just got these beautiful bone-in ribeyes and i'm just going to season them with my uh Charcoal King steak season. I want to season them very liberally. You guys know that I love my wireless thermometer. I don't think you can love the charcoal grill and not have a wireless thermometer. So we're going to turn it on. Stick the probe end. This is the, the grill end. Through the hole. I'm gonna attach this. Looks like you would a charcoal grate. Right inside there. Now that's gonna measure our, our grill temperature. Then, I'm gonna put our steaks. Might need to go the other way. Just like that. Leave a little air gap, okay? So you want the air to come through evenly. And then, with this probe, we're gonna go right in the stake, right there, okay? Hook it up. Boy, this is <laughs> Boy, I love this. a this concoction. Is what, oh yeah, oh this is, hey. But you do the same thing when you put it on a charcoal grill, so it's not as, as weird you know all right so now we got our temperatures going okay let me shoot the flat top to give you guys an idea the flat top is literally shooting here let me come over here look the flat top is shooting about 250 let me get it on the there we go 200 i got it on low so we might crank it up a hair okay i'm gonna crank it up a hair in between medium and low. I'm gonna get my full pack ready for our um, hickory chips. 
We're gonna light that on fire. We're gonna stuff it underneath. And then now it's gonna create that smoke effect while it's coming up to temperature. You so we're say. smoking on the flat top grill. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Leave it to me. All right, let's show you how we do this smoke. I got my mesquite hickory chips. Doesn't take much. The last couple times we've done this, it's only taken about 30 to 45 minutes to heat up. I'm just gonna light these on fire. Smells like the grill. Obviously, if you don't have a, a butane torch, you can always use a lighter, but just get it going really good. Okay. Fold it up so they don't fall out. Create a pocket, kind of like charcoal. Once they get lit, they'll start lighting each other. So what we're gonna do, right inside. So that smoke is just gonna keep going just like this. Here. Look at it, see the smoke? Can you see it? Open it up, open, let me see where you put it. I'm trying to keep the heat in. Okay. See that? I know you're thinking it's on top, but trust me, that dome is just gonna let that smoke just go like this. And about halfway through, we're gonna flip our steaks over. All right, we're sitting about 82 degrees right now. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up to about 100 degrees. So 82 degrees in the internal temperature in the meat. of the meat? In the okay. meat, yep. So all I'm gonna do is, since there's a lot of residual heat coming up from the top versus like around it like you would a grill, now I'm just gonna flip them. And you can see the fat. Ooh, look at that. Go dry it out, it's getting, just like you would on a reverse sear. I did have to light my, my stuff one more time, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and put that in there. So I'm just gonna light it one more time. Take our meat thermometer, right in, and you just kind of eyeball it and guess it. I'm gonna go a little bit closer to the bone since it's a bone in, about halfway through, and there you go. So now we wait. We're gonna bring it up, like I said, about 100 degrees. We're gonna move it off the heat, crank this flat top up on high, sear it on both sides, and then, just like you guys know, I like that finishing butter. We're gonna, oh, look at that smoke rolling. Look at that smoke rolling. Tell me you can't smoke and reverse sear a ribeye on a flat top grill. That's money in the bank right there. Woo! All right, we're sitting about 104. I'm going to take it out of the meat, disengage over here. So the dump part is done, okay? There's my hickory smoke. I'm gonna move it off. Now what we're gonna do, here, quick tip. Inside the dome never got to 250, 275, somewhere through there. It stayed around 180 to 210. But the reason why it works is because the heat is still coming up from the flat top. And it's really that close. When you reverse sear a steak on a grill, obviously your grill or your heat is offset. So then you have the rounding effect. This is coming straight up. So you want to flip it about halfway through and don't necessarily worry about your dome temperature, more worry about your flat top temperature. But if you could just smell. All right. Woo. We're gonna turn it up on high. We're gonna get this bad boy ready to sear these things off. Finish with our sauce. All right, guys, sitting about 445. I ended up having to turn this eye on, this other one on, to help the heat bit, uh, penetrate the metal. One eye was not good enough on high. So I've just got the other one on, but we're about 450 to 475. And all we're gonna do is taking these smoked ribeyes and finish them off on that flat top, getting that crust on there.
All right, it's been about two minutes and we're gonna flip it. The one thing I'd encourage you to do, as much as you wanna get the crust, is don't leave these on the flat top on one side too long. Oh, oh yeah. What right. kind of oil did you squirt on top? This is just avocado oil. And the reason why I'm not using butter yet is because we're cooking at such a high temperature, I do not want to burn the butter. So right now it's just 100% avocado oil. Good tip. All right guys, so it's been two minutes on each side. And so to make it even, we're gonna flip again. Cause I won't mind to come off about one, one, about. Let's see what we got here. I won't mind come off, we'll see. So that side, so what it tells me is we don't have long on this side. You guys see the difference? There we go, it's cooling down already. All right, so we're giving another two minutes on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat. I know that's crazy to say, but there's so much residual heat, you guys hear me talk about it. Cut the heat, let it go. Look at that crust. You can break a nail on this thing. All right, so my steaks are pegged about 118. I'm gonna go remove them, put them back on our grill, on our little Probably the baddest grill accessory there is. And see all this flavor on the flat top? I'm just gonna move it off so it doesn't burn. I'm not gonna put it in the drain. This is beef fat and seasoning. So let's just move it off the heat just a little bit. And avocado oil. And our flat top's cooled down now. We're gonna make our pan sauce. So we're gonna pour our pan sauce right on top of our rest and ribeyes. So garlic and butter. Come in here with the rosemary. See these pan drippings, honey? See that? Mm -hmm. that that's fawn. That would be on the bottom of a cast iron pan if you were doing it on a cast iron pan. That's why I saved it. Now you smell it? Oh yeah. Mmm. Get that garlic nice and soft. Rosemary is coming through. Remember, the flat top's off. All this is just 100% residual heat. That's important so you don't burn your butter, right? Yes. And if you saw the videos to clean your flat top, how to clean your flat top grill, I think it's the number one pet peeve of mine. Clean as you go and learn to control the temperatures of your flat top. All right. Now look, you see how we're bubbling? You see how there's a difference now? Come back and hit it with my W sauce because that's what we like. You guys don't have to add it. Add whatever sauce you like. And what is W sauce? Mm. Worcestershire? I, I think I, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, whatever it is. All right, get these two mixed together a little bit. All right, you ready? Oh yeah. So here's our sauce. I've always said, when you're doing meat, find something to do to keep you busy so your meat has time to rest. And this is probably, look at that. Mm. Well, there you go. Reverse seared ribeye on the flat top grill. We're gonna test these things out. I love my new little thing. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested. I absolutely 100% love it. So let's see what we're gonna do. Now, the point of this video is not to tell you that this steak is gonna replace a flame kiss steak. But the point of the video is to expand the horizons on what the flat top can do. Let's try. Mm. It's tender. The smokiness. You take you taste mm. the smoke. Dang, that is good. You taste the smoke. I do. Mm. It's better this time than it was when I did my homemade system. 
So there you go. Hey, come up with the idea, brainstorm, shoot it at me. Let's see what happens. I think the method's pretty cool. We already have two different recipes that I know that we're gonna be using on this. It's pretty, pretty cool little gadget. Other than that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, reverse sear a steak on the flat top grill because who's not doing it? Peace. Damn, steak's good. Mm, give me another bite. Ooh, yeah, I want all the fat. Thank <laughs> you.